Hello everyone, Sunset2, welcome to a adventure map playthrough of one of my new ones. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure on the title, I have a few names for it, but I do have a 114 version besides a 18 version that I'm currently in. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much based around these blocks here from the block effects mod, you've seen that 1.8 mod, and the 114 version will be based around um, bigger beacon radius and replacing the um, sort of inclusion of these in 1.8. Uh, the mod is pretty much just a mix of parkour as well as certain aspects of um, fighting skeletons um, and obviously basing the mod around these stones which obviously um, are for jump, speed, strength, night vision, invisibility, and poison potion effects. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how we go. There is obviously seven levels. I'll see how I go with splitting up the recording. And just give you an idea here. Um, which is also obviously to assist, whether it be secrets you want to use, or um, what sort of elemental stone you'll get, which is obviously the goal of the map. Um, the difficulty being either parkour or combat, and like such. So there's six levels, and then there's the hub area, and then there's also a boss area as well, which has one two levels, technically if you count the hub level, and a boss, so about nine. Um, combat expectations, player notes, a bunch of other information of how to find certain other things that aren't the potion specific blocks, and there we go. There's obviously also some gear we have that we can start with if we want. Um, I probably might do this in creative just in case um, since I do want to use this as a way to fix up the map if need be and um, I don't really want to deal with combat unless it's necessary in that specific level and I'll remove any of the mobs I see fit to do that because I'm still working out the lighting for it so you can see the signs obviously stating what it's about, what its goal is, and if combat is intended or not, which it is for this, since it's invisibility, and it would be kind of silly if you didn't have invisibility based around some aspects of avoiding combat or engaging in it, and then there's obviously this here, which is pretty much only supposed to be at the end of the level. Put it in the chest for all these storage reasons, and I obviously detail what secrets there are. So there's an armor piece which you can use and upgrade with enchanted books, and there's a potion chest just for the sake of certain um, extra secrets or potions you can use um, throughout. So I'll just get through here. Obviously, got some milk, water breathing, and emeralds for the sake of it. As an extra treasure, and we'll see how we go. I have already tested this and been through this one, but I haven't been through the other levels yet. Um, so this is me just testing this before I release it. And it also gives you an idea of where secrets are as well. I don't actually need that one, so I'm just if I want to restock on the jump ability. Okay. So we don't need to go there, we can if we want to, I'm going backwards. Um, go to, I guess, the right path, because that has the secret in it. And we skip a whole chunk of an area. Got our first secret diamond. We wanted it. Secret Diamond 2, 
go around there if we need to. I'm gonna skip that. Because I'm mostly just pointing out what you can do in it. And where things are, rather than fully taking advantage of my survival aspects um, that I should be using. Um, well, survival mode, which I should be playing in nicely. So, I've got that. And I messed that up. Okay. Again, probably a bit more proper this time. With the redstone. And technically we could use that lava, but I'm gonna skip it here. Yeah, probably gonna wanna jump at that. So you could just jump here, either way, depending on how much you have left. Obviously you'll need eight stacks of these stones. Um, it does seem like a lot, but I usually put them all in the same space, so it's not too difficult. In some levels like this one here, there is more. So you've got some breathing safe stones of sorts. Obviously, I've got to really swim up, which can be difficult, obviously. And obviously, in the 114 version, you can easily swim up compared to probably struggling a bit in 1.8. The fact that you can't obviously swim, you know, they just sort of float up. Got the extra jump stones, so that's three. Uh, two, sorry. Out of the three locations that the all required eight stacks has. And you can see sort of the extra stuff. If you went the other path, which takes a bit longer, which obviously I'm not going to go down. But either way, another reason why um, I'm just going to do this in creative rather than show it in survival. We've got the combat path sorts. We'll just Ignore those guardians because they're not going to destroy much. And obviously, we'll want a lever to go here. We'll open this up and we'll cut the remainder jump stones that we can use. And it's just there at the end of the level. Secret diamond number three. And the fast travel. Um, actually, I might go down the path of the other, just in case, because why not? Uh, we'll just go from the side, I guess, so you can get an idea of what each path will be like. Depending on which you choose. Obviously the right one is the shortest path. That just takes us back up and around, if we wanted. pretty much since I made that spotlight, which is a lot longer than most others, um, like shifted, but um, yeah, it did take a bit of getting ideas together and a bit of motivation to finish this off, um, and also as well adding in elements um, to it over time. So that I didn't leave it too short, but didn't make it too long. As you can see, obviously, and a bit more so we can do if we wanted. Yeah, I'll just skip some of that aspects, I guess. Why not? And obviously, we can get up here. Now, you can either go behind you, which you typically don't notice, but can. 
And if we go down here, we can find an armor piece, which we can then use to, again, upgrade with um, enchanted books. You can use the diamonds for upgrading the armor. It's not for just score. And we've got the actual hidden armor piece there, which also connects to the desert level as well. And the bronze chest is just here for the sake of using. Doesn't actually mean you have to use anything inside that chest. But um, either way. And I mean, I didn't really want to move it, so I was just like, eh, I'll just add this as something else. So we'll jump up here, jump up here, there's a little lever to open up this side compared to just the other. Use that to go back across if we want. We can jump here, we can jump here, and we're good to go. And then just jump there, and then teleport down. So we'll just break this. Now we'll teleport back to the entrance.